What was he maybe 20 yards outside the box? Maybe not quite that. And Stephen Mallon, you just never know. Pavel Penske is leaving a very similar gap to the one that Cammy Bell left for Dundee United here. And Mallon yeah. may have spotted that gap, yeah. but there was no, not enough bend on the no. free kick. And I end. wondered as well, did he anticipate the goal? He would actually run over to cover that other side. But you know, at least he hit the target. And both of them get anything on the initial header. Here's Smith, and there's ball in the yeah! centre! Fantastic! Ray Frovers falling asleep at the back, allowing Stevie Mallon to score his 10th goal of the season oh. and gives him in the lead here. What a huge goal that is in terms of the championship table. And the crowd saying, oh, he's Stevie Mallon. That was just brilliant. And it all stemmed from his initial um, three kick. But yeah, they just fell asleep at the... Fell asleep at the, the defence right here. And you can just see oh. on the screen there has been a goal at Somerset Park that has been scored by Hibernian. I think the it is the fans one nil to him. Well. That might be that extra cheer you've just. It's again. Is he brought down? Yes, he is, and it's yep. Malin territory oh. for this free kick. This is Malin territory, isn't it? This is, you know, you can see Malin already just setting it up. Death's marking out. The distance between Malin and the, the Wraith defence. Just seeing how the Wraith keeper's setting up his wall here. He's got four four players in it. Looks like this is one player. Yeah, uh, Rory Loy joining yeah. it as well. Lewis Morgan also standing over a bit. It's going to be Malin to hit it. Oh! How has that gone in from Malin? He's on the double! It surely must have taken a deflection. Oh, because it, it seems to run through everyone, because I thought that was going by at first, and then it just seemed to bounce in front of the keeper. Let's look at this. Little bounce in front of the keeper, and just wow. Pavel Penska expecting it to go to his left hand yeah. side, and somehow it's found its way into the right hand corner. Absolutely yeah. incredible. And you know, Penska was already diving before the ball had even bounced, and it just bounced right over him and into the far corner. Oh, this is just, you know. The fans are up in their feet. And ah, what a brilliant time this would be to add a third for the Saints. Lots of options to aim for. Mackenzie! Oh. It's gone in! Oh. It's, a, it's a third goal! Yeah. It is counting! Yeah. Gary Mackenzie runs over to celebrate! It's 3 0 just after half time. Oh, wow. Uh, and once again, major inquest in the race defence here because nobody seemed to know what was happening there. Well, that, I have to say, is an absolute howler from Pavel Pencha. Pencha, sorry, he caught the ball, and, or should have caught the ball, and then somehow let it slip out of his hands. Yeah. It's submitting three, Rafe Rovers nil. Wow. Over the ball. And get the chance to run at the roof defence. Nice play again from Sibirin. Here is Malin. Takes the layoff from Loy. There's Malin. Oh my goodness me! That is absolutely world class from Stevie Malin. It's 4 0. He has his hat trick and it's the first hat trick we've seen from Sibirin all season. That was incredible. He just took that ball and just launched it to the top of the net. I cannot believe what we're seeing here. Oh, listen to the fans. Look at them with the mouse. Here we go. He gets the ball and just literally his first touch. Right at high, right foot, right into the top, right hand corner. Well, if the second goal wasn't his, that definitely was. Let's see. Loops it forward into Stelios. Stelios might get there ahead of him. Voto, oh, he slides it into the path of uh, Loy Malin. Oh, he wants to be unselfish. It's fine! Lewis Morgan is the goal scorer. We've got just oh. over three minutes left and here. How, how good of that was Malin here because he could have had a go himself. But he saw Morgan coming in, played the ball out of him and they put it away. Lewis Morgan nets his 10th goal of the season. What a contribution he's made. That is why he is one of the favourites for the Young Player of the Year here at St Mirren. 
This is just what a great day this has turned out for St. Murray. Wow. 5-0. Five, 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 no. This is just incredible. Another demolition here at the Pacey 2021 Stadium. I don't think, John. I mean, I think probably, like myself, a lot of fans today would be coming. Slight, a slight sense of trepidation because we know how important this game is. And that's us! Kevin Clancy picks the ball up, brings the game to the end. We've only played a minute of added on time. It is all over here at the Paisley 2021 Stadium. And St Mirren are in a fantastic position to guarantee that they will stay in the championship for next season without having to negotiate the championship playoff final. It has been another stunning performance from St Mirren this afternoon. Almost, in some cases, better than the performance here against Air United because the Rovers were barely in the game and didn't con and St Mirren didn't concede a goal they were so solid in defence for the five goals they scored this afternoon a real statement of intent and look what it means to everyone here oh at the yeah. club you know the players over soaking up the applause of the fans and just you know exchanging that love there that's what's going on uh, you know the interesting thing obviously could be the last home game of the season the stewards have deployed along the, the touch line to stop the fans going onto the pitch but the fans were just so happy, were just so elated with what we're seeing here today. It's just been an incredible game. And Jack Baird running over there to the touchline, just embracing the fan there at the front of the stand. And of course, it is St Mirren's last home game of the league season here at the Pacey 2021 Stadium. Jack Ross coming across as well to take the applause of the fans because, you know, I'm quite sure that Christmas there's a lot of people thinking was that the right appointment but um, it's definitely turned out to be like some shrewd tactical moves and during the uh, transfer window and it's paid dividends. He's got another huge performance out of his boys this afternoon and you do have to give full credit to him. You see him there just going around the stands applauding the fans and uh, Suburban still have a job to do next week at Easter Road. A draw would be just about enough to keep them 